Hello again, Card Fight Vanguard fans! I am Jeff of the Game Capital and thegamecapital.com, your one stop source for Card Fight Vanguard and our trading card game needs. Today we've got a pizza box, a pre release kit, sneak preview kit, whatever you want to call it, of the newest Card Fight Vanguard set, Extra Booster 08 My Glorious Justice, featuring Aqua Force, Grand Blue, and Dimension Police. You can see the playmat there as well, features Super Dimensional Robo Die Liner. Give you a close-up peek there at just the playmat. The other one's kind of buried by the packs. As you can see, it includes two playmats, 39 boost packs, and nine promo cards. Here's a look at the promo card of Velcrias of Oath Dino? Dine. That's an E, right? Yep, okay. Hard to read. I'm, I'm like squatting. This is tricky, but yes. An Aqua Force promo. And they've got 39 booster packs. You've got the eight bundles of four. Plus seven packs additional. So let's move to the uh, opening station and crack up with some packs here, shall we? All right, made the transfer over just fine. So we can start opening some booster packs then. I'll open one bundle at a time so that if you're to enter a pre release, you can see, uh, get multiple ideas of what your uh, packs may look like that you can use for it. Uh, depending on the store, some will do a sealed event where you just open your four packs and you basically end up using all the cards, those four packs for your deck. Uh, some will do draft. Uh, some will just have you use your typical deck, possibly perhaps adding some cards to the new set. Uh, that's how we do our Yu-Gi-Oh! sneak peeks anyway, where you can use the stuff you get from your new Yu-Gi-Oh! packs in your existing decks, uh, but you don't have to use just the new cards. But either way, it's always good to see what you can expect from your four packs if you do a sneak peek for a card fight. Regardless of how you use them, you get four packs to start. And then there are seven packs in the prize pool per eight person pod, basically. So we've got Blue Wings of em Empathy, Markerios, Skeleton Drawn Sword Soldier, a 15k grade one shield, Operator Girl Haruka, Rick the Ghosty, Dimensional Robo Go Rescue, Go Rescue, uh, Star King's Ambassador Gingard, and Dragon Spirit. Let's see, let's say on the packs what's all in this set. So let's see, 63 cards, 55 new and 8 reissue. I'm guessing most, if not all the reissue ones, are triggers. There's 3 VRs, 6 triple rares, 9 double rares, 15 rares, 30 commons. There are 13 special hollow cards. 3 are SVRs, 9 are SPs, and just 1 XVR in this set. There's also 1 secret rare. Now from EBO7, there was, I think, 4 different XVRs. And several SPs, but not quite nine. So this one's got a much higher ratio of SPs to XVRs. And as I've said earlier, they're feature clans, Aqua Force, Dimension Police, and Grand Blue. I always forget if it's Dimension or Dimensional, but I think I said it right in the, in the opening as well. I think. I hope. If not, I apologize. But we've got Night Witch Pirate Nild. So it looks like they've got a grade one and grade two that are uh, 15k shields. But why is she also only 7,000 power? Like... I mean, it's a grade two. Yes, you can intercept, but you can't boost. So I feel like you should be at least eight or 9,000 power with all else being equal. But oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, Blow Bubble Draco Kid. Metal Cut Sailor. So see, they get a grade two with 12K, but no shield. Pirate Ship Handler. Pay, is that an L? Paolo. Dimensional Robo Die Racer. Blue Wings of Faith. Basilia and Glory Maker Double Rare of Dimension Police. Now, I'll try to bring all the double rares are, are higher, closer, at least for a couple seconds so you guys can pause and read the card effects in case you want to see. But I won't be reading any except for probably the VRs, maybe triple rares. We'll see. Potent Poison Monster Daiquiri. Yep, not girl. That isn't, well, it could be a girl. I, I don't know. Subterfuge Unit Commandant Cecilia. Of Dimension Police. So 10k with 10k shields. Captain Night Kid. Blue Storm Marine General Despina. Army Penguin. I know that one's a reprint. Battle Unit Commandant Galegio. And Skeleton Sharp Shooter. Alright, last pack of the first little bundle here. We probably won't show all the commas out of the first few, but for now we are. Battle Siren Hesper. Kicking Frangle. Little Hero Draco Kid. Pyrocene Communications Sea Otter Soldier. It's a mouthful. 
Rough Seas Banshee, Battle Heroine Enola, and Blue Wings of Abduracy Simeon. So that first bundle was a bit of a dub with only a double rare to show. And uh, nothing higher than that. So if that were your four entry packs or whatever you want to say, that'd uh, be disappointing. But we should see several that are much better than that. I would certainly hope. Otherwise, this would be a pretty uh, not ideal kit overall. But it'll turn around. Pretty sure. Lightning Saucer. Bleb Bomber Dragon. Little Hero Draco Kid. Dimensional Robo Die Battles. Enemy Seeking Seagull Soldier. Ooh. Dolph the Ghosty. Ooh, there's a new Ghosty. And Coral Assault is our first triple rare for Aqua Force. Grade 2, 5k shield, 9k power. Continuous as during the battle it attacked. If four or more of your other units are in tap position or exhausted, uh, this unit gets plus 15,000 power. At the end of your turn, if the total number of attacks this turn is four or more, put this unit into your soul and draw a card. So there you go is the triple rare of Aqua Force. All right, so our first somewhat higher level pull. Captain Night Kid, Kicking Frangle, Little Hero Draco Kid again, Pirate Ship Handler Paolo, Dimensional Robo Die Racer, we've got Battle Heroine Enola again, and Double Rare, Master Swordsman Nightstorm of the Grand Blue. And just give you a quick peek there if you want to read. And we will continue right along. Oh, I didn't put the other one into sleep. Oh, well. It's okay. All right. Operator Girl Haruka. Night Watch Pirate Nilds. Blow Bubble Draco Kid. Medical Officer. Night Spirit. So mostly all duplicates already. Dragon Spirit. And Blue Wings of Faith Basilia. Calm Assault. Punching Frangle. Bleb Bummer Dragon, Blue Storm Marine General Despina, Army Penguin, Rare, Blue Wings of Abdurasi Simeon, and Pat the Ghosty. So many ghosties! I'm, only used to, I'm used to only Rick the Ghosty, I think it is. Alright, well, still a few commons we haven't seen, I guess, but we've seen most all of them. There's only 30 different commons, you get, what, five in a pack, so we've opened eight packs. We opened enough packs, we could have seen all of them if there were no duplicates, but we can uh, page through that much quicker here and uh, get through this opening for you all. But let's keep it going here, shall we? So let's kind of page through kind of like that for most and get to the better stuff, like Roaring Beast Audion, double rare of Dimension Police. That's a pretty cool looking card. I don't know exactly what that thing is, but that looks pretty cool, to say the least. History's Worst Noise Pollution. <laughs> so apparently it's a very loud unit, I guess, to say the least. So I guess those are speakers, kind of, sort of, maybe. But yeah, let's, let's keep looking for the, even the higher pulls than that, shall we? We want the really shiny and powerful stuff. Is that another double rare? Glory Maker, our first duplicate double rare already. Oh, man. Oh, man. Usually from these pre-release kits, we get all the double rares with like maybe one or two, two duplicates. Usually one of each triple rare and one of each VR too, typically. I guess sometimes you get a duplicate triple rare as well. Let's see. We've got Greed Shade. So new ghosties and new shades as well. Let me put that bad boy in a sleeve. So partnering with Ruin Shade, perhaps. We now have Greed Shade. During your turn, if your drop zone has 10 or more cards... This unit gets plus 5,000 power. And when placed, discard a card from your hand, put two cards from the top of your deck into your drop zone, and return a card not named Greed Shade from your drop zone to your hand. That's not too shabby either. Definitely a usable card there, I'd say, to say the least. And last pack of this bundle gives us Ghosties, Battle Unit, and Skeleton Sharpshooter. Nothing special there. Still looking for our first VR. Remember right for EBO7, I think we had a slow start as well. Uh, I think we got our SVR in like the last bundle of packs we did. And then we got one or two VRs in like the prize packs. So there's still still the best stuff to come. So hopefully you guys are sitting through and uh, waiting, waiting for the goodness here. Waiting for it. Hydro Hurricane Dragon of Aqua Force. 
Double rare. There you go. Come on, VRs. We want the really shiny things. Ooh, is this VR? Is this VR? It is. We've got Super Dimensional Robo Die Liner, the Dimension Police Unit featured on the playmat of the Sneak Peek Kit. What does he do, you ask? Well, all of your Grade 3 units get plus 10,000... That's Guard, right? Interesting. Uh, so, if they have none, I assume they still have plus 10,000. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, once per turn, Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1, look at 7 cards from the top of your deck. Reveal up to one normal unit from among them and put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. If you reveal the grade three, this unit gets plus 20,000 power and plus one critical until end of turn. So, assuming you sh reveal a grade three within there, you've got a 33k two critical base. So not too shabby right there for super dimensional robo die liner. Very nice, very nice. A welcome addition to dimension police. Now, can we find the other VRs as well? I certainly hope we can. I expect to. Also expect to get an SVR or better. Would be amazing to find an XVR, but uh, I'm not going to expect such things. But I'll be very happily, pleasantly surprised if we do, to say the least. And uh, my apologies for not having any EBO7 booster box openings yet. I actually recorded a two box opening of that yesterday. Um, so I'll probably be uploading that in the next few days, and I'll be uploading more boxes of that as well. I'll space out the uploads, but there's boxes that come in. We'll probably have boxes of this as well, and other Karma Vanguards as well. I got more AL4 to open, so I'll try to have at least one Karma Vanguard-related video posted to the channel per week. And there is our next VR, and that was the next pack bundle. If you're any horns in the back, and that's just the train that goes by our building here. Don't mind that. So... Blue Storm Supreme Dragon Glory Maelstrom, Grade 3, 12k. Once per turn, Counter Blast 1. Until end of turn, your opponent cannot intercept, and can only call up to one card from his or her hand to Guardian for each battle. If your soul has a card with Maelstrom in its card name, all your front row units get plus 10,000 until end of turn. That seems really good. Like, really good. Now, full disclosure, I have not been having a chance to play much of any carpet for a while. And when I do, it's always the Spike Brothers. So, I'm not fully up to snuff on the metas and, like, what what is truly OP. But that sounds really, really good to me. I could be wrong, but uh, it sounds good. What else can I say? I don't know. Let's keep going, though. So, we, we've, we had a slow start, but now we got two VRs in pretty close proximity to each other. So... Things have turned around. We got Blue Wings of Great Cause. Phalos? Phalos? Two L's. Phalos. Phalos. I don't know. But there's what it does. And we'll continue right along. They were about halfway through this opening at this point. Give or take a pack or two, I think. Pair of single rares. And after this pack, we've got three bundles left. Is that another double rare? Wow, this player got a stacked pack. The same one, wow. So that bundle of four packs had two of the same double rare and the VR Maelstrom. So, uh, so far I would say that whoever opened those four packs, if they were doing a sealed event, they probably would have won. I'm thinking, I don't know. That, that, that's my opinion anyway, because they, they got some beef. I mean, all the other ones had at most two hits double rare higher. Only one other one had a VR. The first bundle only had a double rare, nothing better, so... That was definitely the most stacked bundle of four so far. But what do we have here? It is an SP Platinum Ace. Nice. Always a pleasant surprise to get anything higher than a VR in these pre-release kits. Usually get one higher pull. We'll see if we still get an SVR if this like replaces it. But that is a nice looking card right there. Grade two, that is SP number one. During your turn, this unit gets plus 5,000 attack. And once per turn, when it attacks, if your grade 3 or greater vanguard uh, attack is 30,000 or greater, you can soul blast 1. And this unit gets plus 10,000 power and plus 1 critical until end of turn. And like I said, the VR has, what, 33k if you, if you hit that grade 3 in your top 7 cards. So, nice little combination 
right there. All right. So yes, the tides have definitely turned for us. No pun intended uh, when it comes to, you know, aqua force speed and, set and such. But yes, things are heating up here. All right. So now the question becomes, will we still find an SVR or better? Or will that uh, SP essentially replace it? There's another double rare. Uh, Trabouter Cadaver Elfio. And uh, a couple of ghosties there with him. Look, looks like uh, the new band of Chuck E. Cheese or something. I don't know. Maybe not Chuck E. Cheese's, but either way. There's what it does. How many different double rares is that now? Do we have them all? One, two, three, four, five, six. Only six different double rares so far. So still three different to find. Right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Burn through the commons. Oh, got some more shine here. Triple rare magical police quilt. Sure. It's a quilt, I, I guess, of Dimension Police. Grade one. Uh, 10,000 shield, 8,000 power. When placed, discard a card from your hand. And one of your vanguards gets plus 10,000 power until end of turn. When your vanguard attacks, if that unit's attack is 30,000 or greater, counter blast one and draw a card. So, as usual with um, Dimension Police, a lot of the cards have effects uh, based on the increased power of your vanguard, or if it has that increased power. I know it's always tricky, because I remember facing it once or twice, and sometimes you'll guard for it based on what their attack is, and then they hit a trigger that gives it plus power, plus it also gives them additional power based on card effects because they hit a certain threshold, and then, then, then you're just toast. Then you are just truly, truly toast, and it's a sad time. Sad time for you. Pat the Ghosty and Storm Ride Ghost Ship Double Rare. So there's a seventh different Double Rare. And there's what it does. It's a pretty cool looking card. Pretty sick looking ship. Bum, 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 ba dum, bum. Ooh, ooh, ooh. VR Ice Prison Necromancer Kokitis. I remember that card from way back in the day. Obviously, we'll have new effects now than way back then, but. It's a 12k for Grand Blue, Grade 3. During your turn, if your drop zone has 10 or more cards, this unit gets plus 10,000 attack. If it has 20 or more cards, it gets plus 20,000 and plus 1 critical instead of plus 10,000. And once per turn, counter blast 1 and put 4 cards from the top of your deck into your drop zone and call up to the number of Grade 3 cards in your soul plus 2 of cards from your drop zone to rear. Okay, that, that was kind of wordy and confusing. So, call up to the number of grade 3 cards in your soul, plus 2. So I guess, so say this is your second grade 3 you rode, you would have one grade 3 in your soul. So you could do 3 cards from your drop zone to the rear guard circles. That was here to your chance of hitting that 20 or more cards for the extra power in the first one, but helps you keep your field full. So, not too shabby. If you've got a lot in the discard, it hits that much harder. And if your field gets depleted by, you know, Kagura or something like that, it has very good ways, uh, reliable ways there to uh, refill your field as well. So some very good, solid-looking VRs in this set, I think. The best I know. And there's Platinum Ace Triple Rare. So we got two Platinum Aces now. Triple Rare and an SP. So I assume that SP will be worth something, given that its base rarity is triple rare, not double rare especially. And we already know what that one does. And just show you here side by side. So they're basically the same. The foil's a little different. Uh, it's full art, and looks like it's kind of... Is, is it zoomed in a little bit? Is that, I think that's an illusion. Yeah. Like, because it's full art, this one looks a little bit bigger at quick glance, but it's just the fact that it's full art that it makes it look a little bigger. So that's kind of cool. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it doesn't actually look bigger to anybody else. But to me, it looked like the actual unit was larger on the card. But it was all but an illusion. And then we've got a couple of single rares. All right, last bundle. And then we move on to the prize packs. What will the prize packs have in store for us? We'll find out for these four packs, won't we? All right. We'll just kind of burn through this kind of as quick as we can. Double rare number eight, Storm Rider Nicholas. We'll say Nicholas. Looks like it should be like 
with a Russian accent or something, though. Take practice to be real combat. Take real combat to be practice. That doesn't sound like actual sentences, or... I don't know. Maybe I'm tired. I don't know. I'm sorry. I feel so blabbery. And is this a triple rare coming up? Yes, it is. Ripple Banshee of the Grand Blue Variety. As opposed to not Grand Blue? I don't know. Great one. 10k. Shield. 8k power. When placed from drop zone, Soul Blast 1, draw a card, and this year gets plus 4,000 until end of turn. So it's got an effect that can be triggered off of Kokaitis as well. How many triple rares is that for us now? Um, we're at five triple rares, so we need one more different double rare, one more different triple rare. We've got all three VRs and an SP. So I think we're still going to get an SVR because I don't think we'll go this many packs. The, the prize packs usually have some sort of higher rarity. So I'm going to say there's an SVR in those prize packs. And uh, probably a double rare and a triple rare unless we get them right here. Here's the triple rare we were missing, Wheel Assault of Aqua Force. That is the sixth and final different triple rare. At the end of the battle, it boosted. Choose two of your rear guards, and you may exchange their positions. When rode upon, counter blast one, draw a card, and call a card from your hand to the rear guard circle. All right. So any triple rares we get at this point will be duplicates. We've got all the different ones. And is this the last different double rare? I believe it is. Super Dimensional Robo Dysaurus. So it's like a dinosaur? Like, like is this a Power Ranger Mighty Morphin Zord thing? I don't know. The pride of the strong is passed down beyond time. All right. So we've seen all the different double rares, all the different triple rares, all the different VRs. Probably saw a quick glance of all the different rares and commons. And we got an SP. So now we're just looking for duplicates and things of higher rarity than VR. Either another SP... Or uh, perhaps an SVR, or maybe an XVR. I'm not sure there's any stamped Mandroid gifts in this that are not offhand, but we'll see. We'll see. We got seven more packs to find some glory. Some glorious justice, if you will. Ha, ha, ha. All right, enough of the puns. Let's just quick check the rest of these cards. We got ourselves a pair of rares. We got ourselves another Ripple Banshee. So, one extra triple rare. I feel like we usually get at least one extra triple rare and at least two extra double rares. We already have two duplicates in the double rares, though, so... I don't know. What else? Come on, SVR or XVR. Come on. Come on. Pair of rares. Kind of drop that one. There we go. Four packs to go. What are we going to find? Da 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 da. Pair of rares. Looks like a double rare coming up. Another Troubadour Cadaver Elfio. Two more. Can we get an SVR with that SP? Or is that SP replacing it? Nope. All right. Last pack. Last chance for glory. We've got Metal Cut Sailor. Kicking Frangle, Subterfuge, Uta Commandant Cecilia, Night Watch Pirate Nild, Army Penguin, The Rare is Seabed Demon Beast. I'm not even going to say it. Wow. Okay. And the final card of this opening is a VR. We get duplicate VRs of the Glory Maelstrom. So perhaps the SP kind of replaces the VR, but. We still got a duplicate VR. So, in my experience, you get four VR slash SVR in the extra booster uh, prize sneak peek kits. And that SP kind of seems like a bonus. I mean, I'd rather get this SP and VR as opposed to one SVR. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Would you rather get an SP at random and a duplicate VR? Or would you rather those get replaced by a single SVR? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts and... Uh, Curious to see what you think. But that does it for this opening. Again, we got that SP. We got... Oh my gosh, I can't pick these up. We got... Come on. Pick up. Four VRs. Two of the Glory Maelstrom. We got seven triple rares, including doubles of Ripple Banshee. But got at least one of each. There are nine different double rares. We got all of them. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 total. So at least in our kit, we got three extra double rares, one extra triple rare, one extra VR, and a nice bonus high rarity card there with the SP. Hope you all enjoyed this opening. Please make sure you're subscribed and rock smash that like button. Visit thegamecapital.com for your car fight vanguard with our trading card game needs. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time whenever and wherever that may be, including twitch.tv slash thegamecapital. See you later, everybody.